Welcome to this video guys. I have the sample C++ code here that just prints hello world, but I don't see anything to run this code. So this is because we have not installed a C++ compiler and a C++ extension in our VS code. So let's get started and let's do this so we can run C or C++ code in Visual Studio code. First, open your extensions and search for C++. Click on this first extension from Microsoft. Click on install. Now while this is installing, we can go ahead and install a C++ compiler. Now this extension enables coding and debugging for C++ code in VS code. But to run the code or compile the code, we will need a compiler. So let's go ahead and do that. First go to this URL. I'll have this link in the description below. You can just click on this and you'll be taken here. Now click on download and your download will be starting in a few seconds. Once the download is complete, just click on open file, click on install, click on continue and the download and installation is starting up. Once the installation is complete, just click on continue and you will see this. Now here, check all of these things. Just click on it and click on mark for installation. Do this for all the available options. Now click on installation and click on apply changes. Click on apply and the installation has started. Let's wait till this is finished for all of these things. After a couple of minutes, the installation will be complete and you will see this message that says all changes were applied successfully. You may now close this dialog. Click on close. Now you can close this too. Now go to your explorer, go to your C drive or wherever you have installed the compiler. So this is where I had installed it. Go inside bin and copy this path. Now press your windows key and search for environment. Click on edit the system environment variables. Click on environment variables. And in the system variables, scroll down till you see path. Double click on this. Double click on this row at the bottom and paste whatever you have copied. Click on OK, click on OK again, click on OK. Now we have installed the C++ compiler and we have also installed the C++ extension for Visual Studio Code. Now you can close Visual Studio Code and open it again. This time, as you can see, the error or the warning that was here before is gone. Now you can see if C++ is successfully installed or not by going to terminal and entering this command gcc double dash version. You can see the gcc compiler version. Now to run this file, just click on this run button on top right and choose g++.exe not gcc.exe. And now after a while you should see hello world printed. Okay, now if the execution is complete and you cannot see hello world, just click on debug console and this is where your output is printed. Okay, so we have successfully set up C++ in Visual Studio Code and we have run it. And as you can see, main.exe file is also created. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.